I'm at the Rhine right now, taking Smoodle for a walk. After I'm done with walking Smoodle, I will drive to Düsseldorf to see a former client of mine. He has a tattoo studio. What he doesn't know is that I want to try to convince him to teach me how to tattoo myself. I thought, you know, I thought it might be a good idea. That would be one thing I would like to try. We'll see how it works. No. <laughs> he said, there is no way in hell I'm gonna let you tattoo yourself. Not with my machines and not in my studio. Oh well, too bad. So I'm heading back to the shop now and I want to show you what I'm working on. It's a camera slide I made from scratch. Um, Pretty cool project. I'm not going to show you the final result because I don't want to spoil Sunday's video. But I can talk about another idea. I thought I could do um, a second video on that topic and that would be building a motor for it. Um, I know there are a couple of tutorials out there, but I wanted to try it myself. Because I really like electrotechnical stuff, but I'm not very good at it. It's always trial and error. It is a lot of fun for me and a lot of frustration because most of the time it doesn't work out. It doesn't work. Well, the circuit works, but the motor is not strong enough to actually pull the weight of the dolly. So I think what I need to do is get a better motor, get more power, um, and, then, and then it should work. So the way this works, it turns on here. So when the dolly hits the switch, the motor will stop. And that's the idea, so the dolly doesn't run into the motor. And then also you have this potentiometer, potenti potentiometer, I don't know how to say it. You have this where you can control the speed of the motor. I think it would be pretty handy to have speed control. So for next week, I will try to figure this out, to have a better motor, make it as low budget as I can, although I probably have to spend some money on it and then have my own camera dolly system. Should be good. All right, moving on to... Modest mouse, we were dead before the ship even sank. I think they're pretty big in America and Canada. Um, they're not too well known over here in Germany. I think the record is brilliant. I saw them live once in Canada. I think it was 2008 or something. And I almost saw them live in 2007. They were supposed to play at the Hurricane Festival, but they canceled one day before because the singer got in a fight with a fan in Cologne. I think, I think the fan punched him in the eye and the eye was bleeding internally or something. I saw a picture and his complete eye was black. It, it looked awful. So yeah, I only saw them once in Canada. Um, Dashboard is the big hit on this record. It's a great song, but it's not in my top three. My top three are Fire It Up, um, miss the boat and march into the sea. Very cool record, very good shop music, uh, very motivating. It's a bit weird, but I really like it. So let me know what you think about this record. Question of the week. It's from Make It Mazio. I hope I pronounced it right. Um, and he asked me, if you had the time, money and space, what dream project would you want to make? First of all, I'm pretty happy where I am right now. So if I had, you know, all the money that I needed, I would probably do what I'm doing right now, only sleep a little bit better, because money is the one thing I haven't really figured out completely. So yeah, I would like, yeah, but that's a boring answer. So if I had all the money and the space and the time, I would probably build a huge workshop inside of a truck. And I would take that truck and drive around the country or drive around the world even and stop where it's nice and set up my makeshift shop there, build stuff, sell it there and drive on. I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do. Yeah, that's it. Don't forget to ask me questions for next week. Don't forget to leave comments. I hope you enjoy Sunday's video and see you soon. Bye.